Weather from where you live. It was definitely a chilly start this morning. We had lows in the 30s. 33 degrees was our morning low this morning, and then a high of 56 this afternoon with a nice mix of sunshine and clouds. Finally getting a break from some of the rain showers, but we have a line that will be moving through the area during the overnight period, and it's associated with a cold front. A few light rain showers may pop up. We already have a few light showers in some of our, some of our locations just north of Logansport, seeing a heavier pocket of rain, and it is stretching through northern White County and into Benton County. Now these rain showers are moving south and east, and they will stay in our forecast during the overnight period, and also to start Start the day tomorrow. You can see a few light showers popping up during the overnight hours. And by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, we'll be dealing with quite a bit of cloud cover and a few light sprinkles are not out of the question. And this is associated with the cold front once again, making rain possible for Monday and also for Tuesday. We're also tracking below normal high temperatures for the first half of the week. But by the time we get to the later half, we'll have high pressure move in. Dry weather will also return, seeing plenty of sunshine and then Temperatures will also warm up near 70 degrees by the time we get to next weekend. But right now we're sitting at 46 degrees, dealing with mostly clear skies, winds from the south southwest at 6 miles per hour, with temperatures in the mid to upper 40s around the region 48 in Kokomo, 47 in Rossville, and currently 46 degrees in Crawfordsville. Tonight we won't drop too much. 45 degrees will be our overnight low in Lafayette. Increasing cloud cover with the chance for a few light rain showers possible with lows dipping down into the mid 40s around the region 44 in Winnemac 45 in Monticello and an overnight low of 47 degrees in Attica so it'll be a cool start tomorrow with the chance for a few light rain showers a few sprinkles not out of the question but by the time we get to the afternoon things should start to dry up a bit 58 at noon reaching a high of 63 degrees by five o'clock in the afternoon with highs in the lower 60s to mid 60s to our southern location 64 in Attica and Pine Village high of 62 degrees up in Remington for tomorrow afternoon now we'll go ahead and start a future cast for tomorrow seven o'clock in the morning morning. Still seeing a chance for a few light showers. By noon, things should dry out a bit. Until we get to the evening, notice we have some lake effect rain showers because winds will be coming in from the north. That will allow a few light showers to pop up, mostly for our northern counties, but they could dip down as far south as Lafayette and even Crawfordsville. Those will stay in the forecast through Tuesday as well, and temperatures will be much cooler on Tuesday. 57 degrees will be our high temperature, staying in the 50s through Wednesday. Eventually, climbing up into the 60s, high of 68 degrees next Saturday, finally exceeding our average high of 64 degrees. Now here's a look at your seven day forecast. Again, rain chances stay in the forecast through Tuesday, 57 degrees. High pressure will move in, providing ample amounts of sunshine for Wednesday, Thursday of next week, with temperatures slowly climbing right back up into the 60s by Thursday. High of 60 degrees, 64 degrees next Friday with partly cloudy skies and next weekend looks great. Much warmer, 68 on Saturday and then 71 degrees by next Sunday. I